Um, it's like the 2000s. I honestly have no idea why pyramid schemes still work. And by pyramid scheme, I mean anything that labels itself as a multi-level marketing company. Let's assume that the product that you're currently selling as a multi-level marketer, it actually has value, which it doesn't. Let's compare that to something that actually does have value. It's probably in your hometown. Let's think about it in terms of Walmart. Once a Walmart opens, Walmart isn't aggressively trying to open 30 other Walmarts in the same one mile radius. But somehow that makes sense when it comes to multi-level marketing. Think about a franchise. Now, somebody might pay McDonald's $250,000 to open up a franchise but that's with the assurance that there's not gonna be a McDonald's right next door. The only reason that there would be two McDonald's within the same block would be if market research showed that there was so much traffic that the area could sustain two McDonald's. So if you're selling a product and you're being told you can be super successful selling it, that in itself might be true. You might be able to sell a worthless sugar pill to a lot of people and make a significant amount of money doing so. But if you're going to recruit within the market that you are competing in to sell the exact same product, all you're doing is cannibalizing your own business and hurting your future sales. I don't see how that's not blatantly obvious. That's not even taking into account that you can only do, I think it's a 11 to 13 levels of a multi-marketing scheme if you've got 10 people to join they got 10 people to join and then the entire world has been recruited to sell a product that isn't worth its weight in sugar it probably is sugar but because it also comes with a pack of lies you have to discount the price for that fact so if you can only do 13 layers of one pyramid scheme before you've recruited everyone in the world, and is that taking into account that half the world only lives on a dollar a day, your business is destined to fail. Let's have a challenge. Let's see if in two years, if you're still selling the same sugar pills, or if you've moved on to some other type of sugar pill, and if you've ever been successful, and if you've not lost money. If you can sell a sugar pill for two years, and you can be successful, Stop selling this sugar pill and stop selling something with a higher profit margin that actually works for people that won't rip them off. That just means you're a great salesperson. Most people end up getting ripped off. <laughs> I'd be really surprised to see anybody complete the multi-level marketing challenge. The reason multi-level marketing tries to get you to recruit as many people as possible is they know that you'll get burnt out not making money and eventually quit. And hopefully by that time, you've recruited someone else to take your place to sell the worthless product that you're pushing on your friends and family now. Hopefully in two years, after you've lost a lot of money and you've annoyed all your friends and family for hopefully in less than that time, you'll realize that anything that has multi-level marketing in it is a scam. So here's my challenge. Comment on this if you're doing a multi-level marketing scheme and you think I'm wrong. And in two years, I'll be waiting to tell you how wrong you actually were. I don't like to see people get ripped off. And I have family and friends that have done multiple different schemes like this and lost their shirt. And it's the 2000s. We have enough information and we shouldn't be doing this anymore. So that's the only reason I'm posting this challenge. So let me know what you think. And by all means, prove me wrong. I'm waiting, starting now.